你们要靠主常常喜乐。我再说，你们要喜乐。我们要靠主常常喜乐。我再说，你们要喜乐。当叫众人知道你们谦让的心，主已经尽了。当叫众人知道你们谦虚的心，主已及经近了。我们下面一首诗歌是《齐来谢主》。我哋以下嘅诗歌系诶，齐、呃、来众赞主，谢主。啊<笑>、嗯，我们有一点变化，我待会儿用我的。这个 iPhone 的 YouTube 来播播放，我把这边的声音给它去掉。我哋会有啲改变，诶、呃，你哋会接受到嘅。佢会用佢嘅手机嚟播出嚟。大家起立。大家起立。录<笑>音啊嘛，播大声。够唔够大声啊？够晒啦。够晒啦。OK， 我哋齐跟一齐唱啦。我哋将颂扬感谢，敬献父子与圣灵，奉咗父子圣灵，三位本同一体，三位本身一体，在天执掌大权柄，在天上大掌管大权，独一永生上主，独一颂恩上主，天地一同敬拜，天地一齐敬拜，昔在今在。直到千秋万代，今在昔在直到万代。亲爱的天父，亲爱的天父，感谢主今天平安的带领众弟兄姐妹们。感谢天父带领我哋众弟兄姊妹平安嘅嚟到呢度，一起来到你殿中，与天地万物一同敬拜你。用用弟兄姊妹天地万物嘅一齐敬拜你。求你悦纳我们的敬拜。求你悦纳我哋嘅敬拜。愿我们今天出自内心的赞美，蒙你悦纳。同我哋从出自内心嘅敬拜，求你悦纳。求你在我们中间设立你的宝座。求你喺当中树立你嘅宝座。求圣灵带领我们今天的崇拜。带带领我哋今日嘅崇拜。让我们的诗歌、祷告、信息、奉献都蒙你的悦纳。愿我哋嘅诗歌、奉献都能够与你说啦。主啊，你是最了解我们的。主，你系最了解我哋嘅。你知道我们时常软弱。你知道我哋成日都软弱。时常跌倒。成日都跌倒。时常亏缺了神的荣耀。常常嘅亏缺咗神你嘅荣耀。
，诶，你告诉我们你的恩典大过我们的过犯。你告话俾我哋听，你嘅恩典大过我哋嘅过犯。我们为我们过去一段时间没有容神一人的行为，为咗我哋过去嘅做咗一啲唔能够荣耀你嘅名嘅事，都求你言语和思想认罪悔改。言语侍奉都能够求你赦免，请求你的赦免，请求你嘅赦免。你应许我们，你应许我哋，我们若认自己的罪，我哋若认自己嘅罪，神是信实的，神是信实嘅，是公义的，是公义嘅，必要赦免我们的罪，必会赦免我哋嘅罪，洗净我们一切的不义，洗净我哋一切嘅不义，得赦免其过。得赦免其过，遮盖其罪的，遮盖其罪嘅，这人是有福的。呢个人系有福嘅。我们在你的恩典当中也是有福的。我喺你嘅恩典里边都能有福嘅。在这个感恩的季节中，在呢个感恩嘅节日里边，赐我们感恩的心，赐我哋有个感恩嘅心。感谢耶稣基督的救赎，感谢耶稣基督嘅救赎，感谢神接纳我们成为你的儿女。感谢神，你接纳我哋成为你嘅儿女。感谢赐给我们你的圣言。感谢你赐俾我哋嘅圣言。感谢圣灵每天嘅提醒和引导。你感谢圣灵每日嘅提醒同埋引导。感谢弟兄姐妹们嘅陪伴。感谢弟兄姊妹嘅陪伴。扶持和带导。扶持同埋带导。感谢神嘅恩典。感谢神嘅恩典。赐我们父母、配偶、儿女。感谢你赐俾我哋。父母、儿女、夫妻，感谢你给我们一个温馨的家。俾你感谢你俾我哋个温馨嘅家。也感谢你让我们在世上不致缺乏。喺呢个世上，我哋唔会缺乏。求主带领和祝福二零二五年的行政会。求你都带领诶二零二五年嘅行政会。为弟兄们愿意服侍你。为弟兄姊妹服侍你嘅。愿意服侍弟兄姐妹们，愿意服侍弟兄姊妹们嘅，我们感谢你，我哋感谢你，求主赐他们一个爱主、顺服主的心，亦都求你赐俾佢哋一个爱主同埋顺服主你嘅心，愿意为弟兄姐妹们洗脚，我愿意为弟兄姊妹洗脚，我们为当方弟兄祷告，为班弟兄弟求祈祷，求主高抹他的口，求你高抹佢嘅口，圣灵带领让他讲的容神一人。让佢讲嘅令到能够诶荣荣神益人，为城中的年老的弟兄姐妹们祷告，为年年城中嘅弟兄姊妹年老嘅都祷告，在季节交替的时候保守他们的身体，喺呢个诶季节换季嘅时候，佢哋嘅保守佢哋嘅身体，有病痛嘅求主怜悯医治，求有身体有软弱嘅求你都医治。天天将平安和喜乐赐下，求俾佢天天有喜乐，是不是啊？有旅行在外的，也求主赐他们平安。有旅出去旅游嘅，求你都保守。感谢你给我们奉献的权柄。求多谢你俾我哋有奉献嘅权柄。让我们与你在圣工上有份。同有同与你有工作有份。我们今天甘心乐意的奉献，求你悦纳。我哋今日甘心用住嘅奉献都求你悦纳。我们一起来用主导文结束今天嘅祷告。我哋一齐嚟去读主导文。我们在天上的父，愿人都尊你的名为圣，愿你的国降临，愿你的旨意行在地上，如同行在天上。我们日日都饮食，今日赐给我们，免我们的债。如同我们面对人的债，不叫我们嘅舌下，叫我们脱离凶恶，因为得到权柄、荣耀、全势的，直到永远。阿门。好，我们来跟我一起来读启应。我大家一齐嚟读启应。信就是所望之事的实底，是未见之事的确据。古人。在这信上得了美好的证据。我们因着信就知道世界的神的话造成的，这样所证明的，并不是从显现之前就造出来的
。亚伯因着信献祭与神，比该隐所献的更美，因此便得了称义的见证，就是神使他礼物做的见证。他虽然死了，却因这信仍旧说话。以诺因着信被接去，不至于见死，人也找不着他，因为神已经把他接去了。只是他被接去先，已经得了神喜悦立他的证明。人非有信就不能得神的喜悦，因为到神面前来的人必须信有神，且信他赏赐那寻求他的人。我啊，因着信，既蒙神指示他未见的事，为了敬畏的心，预备了一只方舟。他是暑假得救，因此定要那世代的罪，自己也承受住那从信而来的义。这些人都是因信得了美好的证据，却仍未得着所应许的。因为神给我们预备了更美的事，叫他们若与我们同得，就得益处。我们下面啊，大家一起来唱《活着为耶稣》。我哋以下对住一齐嚟唱《活着为耶稣》。这回我们要用这个 speaker 啦，哈，大一点声。Thank、you. 
一起来读神的话语。而家我哋一齐嚟读神嘅话语。在诗篇二十三篇一到十一节。诗篇卅二篇一至十一节。我们一起来读。我哋一齐嚟读。请，请得赦免其过，遮盖其罪的，这人是有福的。凡心里有诡诈，耶和华不算为有罪的，这人是有福的。我开口不认罪的时候，因终日哀哼而骨头不甘。黑夜来临，你的手在我身上沉重，我的精液耗尽，如同夏天的干旱。我向你阐明我的罪，不隐瞒我的过错。我说，我要向耶和华承认我的过犯，你就赦免我的罪恶。为此，凡是心诚人都当趁你可寻找的时候祷告你；大事犯意的时候，必不能到他那里。你是我藏身之处，你必保佑我脱离苦难。你得救的各国四面环绕我，我要教导你，只是你当行的路。我要定睛在你身上劝诫你，你不可像那无知的罗马，必用脚环鸡头勒住他，不然就不能顺从。恶人必多受苦楚，唯独依靠耶和华的必有慈爱，四面环绕他。你们一人应当靠耶和华欢喜快乐。你们心里正直的人都当欢呼。好，我们下面把时间交给当方弟兄。我哋将，我哋将廿时间交俾阿康弟兄。啊，今天带来信息的题目是：得赦免其过的人是有福的。今日嘅主题咧就系得赦免其过的人是有福的。请。第一次聽都講過，第一次，第一次，我都第一次，第一次。Good afternoon, uh, Midtown Church. Hey, 下午好。It is a privilege、uh, for me to、uh, come to preach to the brothers and sisters at the Midtown Church. 我哋好開心同埋好有呢個特權嚟到你哋當中。It's just like coming home. 好似翻翻嚟屋企一樣。So let's pray. Ah, 当我哋一齐祈祷，一头祈祷。Lord, open our eyes that we may see wonderful things in your law. 主啊，求你打开我哋嘅眼睛。Help us to understand your word and to have the grace from you to apply it in our lives. 诶，让我哋都能够睇到你嘅律法嘅奇妙，就帮助我哋。你嘅话语帮助我哋，能够喺你嘅恩典里边。We thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. 誒多謝神喺神嘅話語裏邊，我哋祈禱奉耶穌基督名求，阿門。Amen. Amen. <coughs> oh, okay. 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 俾你睇，人哋又睇，我哋大家一齊睇，因為我哋大家都係第一次，所以我大家一齊學習。OK， 我就俾你哋可以睇到嗰度。OK。OK， so how would you complete this sentence？ 你點樣可以誒、呃、完成呢一句個句子咧 ？What gives me the greatest happiness is？ 誒、呃、最快樂嘅嘢係乜嘢咧 ？I did some research on the internet and came across a happiness survey. Uh, done in 2022 by a French research company. 我上网去查考、寻找，同埋咧喺法国咧喺诶法国嗰个研究公司里边喺二零二年嘅时候，诶发觉佢系乜嘢叫做幸福咧 ？They found that being forgiven and forgiving someone is an important source of happiness for people in the world. 佢话咧，诶佢发发现咧喺个诶研究里边咧证明咧话咧。去被原谅人哋或者原谅某個人嘅時候咧，就係一件最幸福嘅來源啦，嘅事實啦。It is amazing that the world is finally starting to see what God has been telling us all along。即係好奇怪嘅就係覺得咧，而家世界上即係
即係睇住神啦。神所講嘅嘢，即係正真係呢一樣嘢幸福。Uh, both, so we're going to look at verses one and two. Both verses one and two begin with the Hebrew word for blessed, which can also be translated happy. Happy is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. So right away, David tells us how we can be happy. What is most important is our is the restoration of our relationship between God and man, which will make us happy. Let's revisit that relationship back in the book of Genesis. Man was created in God's image to be holy, like he is holy. Man had no sin. Imagine the wonderful relationship between God and man at the beginning of creation. In Genesis 3, we read that the Lord would walk in the garden in the cool of the day to visit Adam and Eve so that they could have fellowship. Imagine Adam and Eve worshiping God and enjoying God every day. God had given them everything they needed in the garden. But they were commanded to not eat from only one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God had warned them that they would surely die if they ate from the fruit of that tree. Not that the fruit was poisonous, but if they ate from the forbidden tree, then they would be committing the greatest act of disobedience and rebelling against the God who created him, created them for himself. So on that day in Genesis 3, the rebellion was started. Adam and Eve decided that they wanted to be their own gods, and so they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Thus, transgression, sin, iniquity, and deceit entered the world, followed by the consequence of death for all men. Man's relationship with God was broken. But it was not destroyed. As verses 1 and 2 tell us, man can be blessed and happy again. In verses 3 and 4, David describes in detail uh, the misery that he experienced. Uh, 
Notice the way the lines of each verse build upon each other. When we don't confess our sins to God, we will suffer greatly. In verse 3, David says his bones wasted away through his groaning all day long. When you have unconfessed sin, you will feel miserable. God will bring his righteous conviction upon you. His hand will press down on you like a heavy weight. Furthermore, David's strength was dried up like a plant that hasn't been watered in the middle of a hot summer. The convicting work of God sounds quite harsh, but oftentimes it's the sinner's pride that is a barrier that must come down when God works this way. Let's spend some time uh, meditating on the questions for application. Are, you, are any of you suffering under God's mighty hand of conviction? Are you trying to hide or cover up your sin? Are you distracting yourself with entertainment or other activities because you are avoiding coming to God to confess your sins and, and to... <clears throat> Uh, express your need for his forgiveness? If then you are, if that is your case, then pay close attention to what David experienced and learn from him. In verse 5, David finally confessed his sin to the Lord. After this period of intense conviction from God, David was now ready to acknowledge his sin to God. He was no longer going to cover up the wickedness that was in his heart. He finally openly confessed his transgressions to the Lord. At the end of verse 5, we have the message of the gospel. So, the gospel says that there is no requirement uh, for bringing a sacrifice for sin. There is no requirement of doing a good deed or making restitution. 
，或者係幫人哋啊，咁嗰啲去去去令到你嘅罪得到赦免嘅。We should meditate on the amazing truth that God will forgive us and justify us based on our faith in Jesus Christ. 佢話呢個咧，你只可以做嘅樣嘢就係用你嘅信心去承認呢樣嘢喺神嘅裏邊。Though David didn't meet Jesus yet, he was putting his hope for forgiveness in the one who would someday die in his place. It's important to mention that uh, that we do need that even to confess our sins, we do need God's help. 佢話：雖然我哋誒、uh, 可以認罪，但係我哋都需要神去幫助我哋去認罪。有時人咧就會好多時候都要逃避嘅。For one thing, we are not always fully aware of the motives in our hearts。有時我哋都唔知道我哋誒、uh, 認罪咧係因為誒、uh, 我哋誒、uh, 為咗其他嘅人咧，或者係為咗神嘅愛啊嘅原因，所以咧神咧會係睇你嘅動機係乜嘢？你點解要認罪？ To yourself, something that you are thinking or doing might seem good. But only God can reveal the mot the motivation behind it. Am I doing it out of love for God and others? Or am I doing it out of love for myself? As we move on to verse six, David tells us not to delay our confession. God's grace is free, but there will come a time when it is no longer available for for the one who rejects Christ. 佢話神嘅恩典咧係免費嘅，但係咧有一個有一個時候咧，如果神拒絕人嘅時候，如果人拒絕基督嘅時候咧，可能佢就會得唔到恩典嘅啦。But for the upright, we know that the assurance of forgiveness is guaranteed。但係我哋知道佢就正直人咧，咁樣講咧，佢哋咧就會得到真真正嘅祝福，而且呢個誒、呃、原諒或者祝福係一個係保證嚟嘅。When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there is no fear, because they will be taken into the very presence of God. When death comes to the upright, there 死亡唔會有唔會傷害到真正直嘅人，因為咧神咧個怒氣咧已經喺喺十字架上高帶走咗佢啦。In verse seven, David further describes his relationship with God. 喺第七節嗰度咁講。He says, first he says, "You are a hiding place for me." 佢話你係我嘅避難心。David acknowledged that he could flee to God, who would shelter him from God's own righteous judgment. He said, "David acknowledged that he could flee to God, who would shelter him from God's own righteous judgment." He said, "David acknowledged that he could flee to God, who would shelter him from God's own righteous judgment." He said, "David acknowledged that he could flee to God, who would shelter him from God's own righteous judgment." 佢話：如果你相信神，相信基督，依靠基督嘅時候，你係你嘅救主嘅時候，你就有一個藏身之處，你可以保，可以保護你免受神公義嘅怒火。Yeah, Jesus will protect you from God's wrath that's going to be poured out on 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 those who are still dead in their sins. 神咧，仍仍將佢怒氣咧，都會去到嗰啲。Um, 死亡嘅人嘅身上，罪人嘅身上，仍然都會。David also says that God, you preserve me from trouble. 
Jesus says in John 16:33, I have said these, no, John 16:33. I have said these things to you that in me you, you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And then David says, You surround me with shouts of deliverance. God is able to deliver you from your greatest enemies, which are sin and death. Let's consider these, these applications. Is the Lord Jesus your hiding place? Have you called on him to be saved? How has he preserved you from trouble in the past? Are there any troubles today that you need to go to him for? How has he delivered you from sin? Are there sinful habits that you need to call on him for deliverance? In verses 8 and 9, we'll, we'll see what happens after, after you forgive, or after you confess your sins to God, He forgives you. And then verses 8 and 9, we see that uh, God restores our relationship to Him. His heavy hand of conviction is no longer pressing on us. Notice how God interacts with the forgiven sinner in four ways. He says, first of all, he says, I will instruct you. It is God who instructs us in the way of salvation and forgiveness. He opens the eyes of our heart to see Jesus as our only hope for removing our sin burden. Once we are once we are forgiven, then we have a new heart that is able to receive his instruction on the way we should live in this world. Secondly, he says, I will teach you. It is through God's Holy Spirit that we are taught how to follow God's commands. Jesus says in John 14, 26, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. And three, the third thing, he says, I will counsel you with my eye upon you. And 
God will grant us wisdom to make the right choices as we face life's challenges. The phrase, with my eye upon you, should also bring great comfort. In my children's Sunday school class, when I teach about God watching over us, some of the kids are not happy. They probably do not like the idea of being caught for doing something wrong. But I told them that it's a good thing that God is always watching over his children. He sees us and comes to our aid whenever we need him. And that is all the time. And fourthly, do not be so God says, do not be like a horse or a mule that has no understanding. Horses and mules need a bit and bridle to be directed in the way that they should go. Sometimes, though we are a forgiven people, we can still go back to our old stubborn heart attitudes. We can still give in to temptation and wander away from God like an unbridled horse or mule. But God will not let us wander far as he will bring us back to him with his divine bit and bridle. And then lastly, in verse 10 and 11, uh, David ends his psalm on a very high note. But first he contrasts the wicked and the one with the one who trusts in the Lord. The wicked will have many sorrows. This doesn't mean that the one who trusts in the Lord will have no sorrows. Indeed, I feel that those who trust in the Lord will also experience sorrows because of their faith in Christ. Either they will be sorrowful from the awareness of their own sin, or they will experience sorrow from persecution because they trust in the Lord. Yet the future of the wicked will be far worse because his or her sorrows will be eternal. 
佢嘅所得嘅就更加好啦，因為佢得到係永遠嘅生命。Because of his or her refusal to obtain forgiveness that comes from Jesus alone, the outcome will be eternal judgment in a literal hell. 佢咧喺佢嘅最後喺審判嘅時候咧，佢會誒幫有就有就幫助佢，能夠幫助佢。While the one who trusts in the Lord, though with many trials and tribulations, will be surrounded by God's steadfast love. He, uh, he, 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 They have been shielded from God's wrath because they have the righteousness of Christ. In response to this, this promise from God, David gives the righteous and upright in heart several commands. First, he says, "Be glad in the Lord." If you have been forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future, you have so many reasons to be glad. Not one sin God will hold against you. Secondly, David says to rejoice and shout for joy in the Lord. Let joy reign in your heart as you meditate on the steadfast love of the Lord that is yours because of Jesus Christ. Let that joy be expressed in your attitude and your speech. The world doesn't have that kind of joy. But they desperately need to, to see that source of joy, of love that only comes from Jesus Christ. So, just to conclude uh, my message today, so let us seek the blessedness of God's forgiveness. Don't delay it. Don't delay it. Then we will learn to walk in obedience to God and find our greatest joy in Him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness that we have in your Son Jesus. Thank you for showing us in Psalm 32 how we can be blessed and happy. Let us turn to your son Jesus and find forgiveness. Let us confess our sins and our need to be saved by Him. Let 
and then let us live for you, let us live for Jesus, so that the world can also have forgiveness. Thank you, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank <coughs> 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 Let's bow and receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Uh <笑>待会我们用餐的时候一起来